Greg Worley. Okay, let's talk about handball. Sure. When did you first come in contact with the sport? Um, actually, when I met Albert, which was about uh, five, six years ago. I played actually paddleball for about 15 years, and um, once I met him, he kind of said, "Get rid of that sissy game." And <laughs> ever since then, it's been a love affair with Albert and handball. But what happened when you switched over? It wasn't easy at first. Um, it wasn't at first because with a paddle you can extend yourself and lunge, um, whereas in handball you really have to be right on that ball. So it took a lot of time for that in terms of hand contact with the ball. But in terms of court sense, no, because playing handball, uh, paddle ball, I already knew how to hit the ball and, and pretty much some of the rules. I see. Do you, uh, do you see, uh, what's the biggest difference that you see between handball and paddle? Um, probably that, that bending, lunging that you get in handball that you really can't, because like I said, with an extension of a paddle, that could be 14 inches. Um, you really can uh, not really be at the ball and still lunge and hit where you really have to make good contact with the ball in order for it to be an effective shot. So you've been playing for about six years? Uh, yes. And you've had some pretty good success in those six years? Uh, yes, somewhat, it, oh. locally. Yes, but you're, you're one of the top women players. Uh, but there's some very good ones coming up and, you know, uh, age, is, age factor is certainly uh, taking its toll. How much did Albert teach you about this? Oh, enormously. Um, and not so much court sense, but more of the rules. Um, he's very, very uh, knowledgeable with the rules and how it can help you in a tournament. Um, but also, he has helped me as a coach in the sense that uh, telling me what shots are very good. Things that seem so obvious once they're, they're told to you. Now, I'll tell you another person, uh, Ruby. Ruby o Obert has been my sort of unofficial coach, and he's been tremendous also. So those two men I credit um, for really helping me see the game. So, besides meeting your husband in handball, and meeting some wonderful people, what else has the game given you? Besides a marriage? <laughs> and some hustle games of five and ten dollars. Um, it has given me a great uh, sense of brotherhood, I would say. Lots of people come here with all walks of life. life, uh, life. Um, they could be janitors, doctors, psychiatrists, uh, you name it, they all come here and they leave their troubles at that gate and we're all the same pretty much. And then handball is a microcosm. They, you know, then you see you're a star. You can be a star on this court and then once you go home you're that that sort of grudging of you know, the husband and the, the father and you know you've got all those hats you must wear but when you're here in, in that, this court it's just a handball hat. Do you have anything else that you'd like to say about the game? Um, well I guess my only grievance is that I'd like to see more women play. Um, I don't know how unfortunately uh, USHA and uh, could possibly do that, but um, it's it's pretty sad that to see the total amount of women who do play um, in organized sports. There's plenty, as you can see here, who play um, during the summer, but if only it could be more organized. And I really don't um, know how that could happen. Miracles do happen. Oh, oh, certainly. Yeah, thank you, Dory. Thank you, thank you very much, Barbara. Move the mic a little closer. Okay, really. Okay, Barbara, tell me how handball first came into your life. Well, I was about 13 years old. Uh, and I lived in the Bronx, and it was pretty natural to just get into the game. Uh, I started playing with the pink ball, the uh, high bounce ball, and I played that, I guess, for about 10 years until the ball just completely died out. And when Big Blue came out, I absolutely hated the ball. <laughs> because it was a totally different bounce, a totally different game. The shots were different. It was, it was just, I did not like the ball. And then when I started playing with the White Ace. Actually, we're trying to cover the, uh, the sense of what the handball players are. Mm -hmm. So what is handball? <laughs> they must be talking about me. <laughs> well, it, um, the main thing it gives me is an, an outlet, an outlet, and a way to socialize and be around a lot of good people and friendly people, and it's just a great game. And uh, 
and it's also an outlet for frustration. <laughs> Sometimes you have a bad day at work or a bad day at home, whatever it may be, and I come out to the courts and it just makes all the difference. Um, it's also a good feeling to win and to win trophies, you know, and have things on display, and it's also great to win money, <laughs> you know, and, and the recognition and, you know, just being around a great group of people. Yeah, you're right up at the, at the top right? on the women's side. Right now, I'm one world, one world nationals champ for the second year in a row. Right. How'd you get to okay. so uh, in the in, with the uh, the white ace that we're playing with now. To tell you the truth, three years ago is when I started playing, and it just like it came really naturally and really surprising because I hadn't practiced with it. I, I kind of just jumped into the tournament. And that was a great feeling. And then I just now I strictly play with the little bit. If I if I can help it, I will not play with the blue bit, the big blue. I I like to think of the natural. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? Well, I'd I'd love to see more exposure for women's handball. I'd love to see women's handball televised. It'd be great if we could get more women players and, and uh, being close with Paul Williams, we're trying to get young women into the game. And hopefully it'll expand and really take off. You don't play ball? I just started playing four wall this winter. Like uh, The first month? No. <laughs> I absolutely hated the back wall. And in recent weeks, I've been able to get shots off the back wall and, and now I'm getting a feel for all four walls. And I could see myself getting more into that game. Back wall can be your friend. If you this is what everyone tells me. <laughs> you got to get used to it. Yes. yes. Well, thank you, Barbara. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Okay.